This week on Moving Markets. It's all about tech earnings as Wall Street's big tech names like Facebook, Google and Apple deliver another set of spectacular earnings. But can this trend continue? Malaysia's own tech sector sees strong profits driven by a spike in demand for semiconductors. And finally, DG and Max has both posted weaker results, but will their enterprise segments be the new catalysts for growth? Soaring demand for digital advertising in the first quarter of 2021 translated into blowout profits for Facebook and Alphabet, the parent company of Google. Facebook's net income was up 94%, while Google's net profit rose 162%, beating street expectations. However, there are risks to earnings with the global vaccination rollout. Will the pandemic-driven tech trends we saw last year persist through 2021? Will people spend less time online? And Apple has introduced a new feature that allows users to decline being tracked for targeted advertising. Will this curb growth? Plus, both companies still face regulatory scrutiny over monopolistic behavior and privacy. Nonetheless, shares of both companies rose to record highs, with Facebook up 6% and Google up 4.5% after the results. And speaking of Apple, earnings beat expectations again, with sales up 54% from the same period last year, despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier concerns that hardware sales are unsustainable were put to rest, as phone sales actually surged 66%, owing to strong demand for its first line of 5G devices. Meanwhile, Apple's services arm also saw tremendous growth. Its revenues hit a record high. Analysts are keeping a close eye on this segment as it provides recurring income, in contrast with product revenue, which is subject to seasonality and launches. However, the company continued to hold back on guidance for the next quarter, though it did warn that the global shortage of semiconductor chips could dent its sales moving forward. Apple's stock rose 2% on the back of this news, with the relatively modest spike reflecting record gains over the past year, as much of this good news has already been priced in. A global chip shortage is driving growth in Malaysia's tech sector. Semiconductor manufacturer Unisem saw its core earnings surge to 45 million ringgit from just over 1 million ringgit in the same period last year, thanks to higher sales volumes which are expected to grow in coming months. Another company that also benefited was Frontken Corporation. Semiconductor sales made up the bulk of the group's revenue in the recent quarter and helped drive its core net earnings up 36% higher year-on-year. Year. Globetronics Technology also saw its net profit increase 15% from the year before, driven by higher volume loadings of its quartz crystal timing devices and in particular its sensors. Unsurprisingly, the KL Technology index is up by more than 24% since the beginning of the year, outperforming the broader FBM KLCI, which has been flat for the same period. Telco operators continue to underperform in 2021. DG's profit for the quarter fell 20% year-on-year, and similarly, Maxis saw its profit decline 7% from the year before. Service revenue has taken a hit since international direct dialing and roaming declined as customers have not been traveling. For both of these telcos, however, the bright spot was the growth of their enterprise and fiber businesses. For the moment, though, all eyes will be on the merger between DG and Cellcom, as well as the 5G rollout. And that's what's been moving markets. Like and follow us on BFM Radio to catch us every Friday for top business and finance news.